There's a bone to break, he'll break it. If there's a knee to graze, he'll graze it. If there's an ankle to sprain, he'll sprain it. He's the unluckiest kid. If your body takes a knock, it won't be long before you get a whacking great bruise. A bruise is when your little blood vessels break, causing the red blood cells to gush out. Whoa, that looks like the best water slide ever. The red blood cells have nowhere to go, so they fill up in between your normal skin cells. But the area becomes so cramped, the oxygen's cut off, turning the red blood cells blue. You look a bit off colour. Tell me about it. I can hardly breathe. Then your body breaks down the leaked blood cells. Your bruise then turns greeny-yellow because the blood cells have been turned into bile and bilirubin, the same stuff that makes your poo brown. Finally, it's slowly absorbed back into the body and your skin goes back to normal. Oh, dear. Ouch. This next boy may be accident-prone, but his body is brilliant at mending itself. Just like yours. If there's a bone to break, he'll break it. If there's a knee to graze, he'll graze it. If there's an ankle to sprain, he'll sprain it. He's the unluckiest kid. Mmm, a nice mug of hot cocoa. Ooh, dear. When you burn yourself, the extreme heat cooks your skin, damaging the top layer of skin cells. The damaged cells trigger an alarm inside your body, and it sends in your immune system to clean up the mess. <laughs> First, it flushes the area with a load of new blood full of white blood cells. This makes the burn site go hot and red. These white blood cells remove the damaged skin by eating it. Yummy. Then there's a rush of plasma. This creates a blister to protect the area. Meanwhile below, new skin cells are being born all the time, making their way to the top. So don't be tempted to pop that blister as it's doing an important job protecting the new skin. Oh, but it's so satisfying. Yes, Aunt, but you could get germs in there. Your body knows when the time is right to dry up the blister. Only when the brand new skin is ready. Oh, no. Be careful with hot drinks, unluckiest kid. This next boy may be accident prone, but his body is brilliant at mending itself. Just like yours. If there's a bone to break, he'll break it. If there's a knee to graze, he'll graze it. If there's an ankle to sprain, he'll sprain it. He's the unluckiest kid. Colds are caused by viruses and enter your body through your mouth or nose. Once inside, they start reprogramming your cells to make more and more viruses. But luckily, your immune system is on the case. First, it makes loads of snot that traps some of the germs, so you can blow them out. But there's still work to do with the rest. You can throw the tissue away now, unluckiest kid. T-cells grab the virus intruders so they can't get away. Then B-cells flood the area with antibodies, which make the viruses stick together so they're easier to fight. And then macrophages eat the viruses, killing them instantly. Mmm, delicious. In about a week, you'll be feeling better. But try to sneeze into your elbow so you don't spread germs. Oh, dear. Here we go again. Your body is brilliant. It can even repair itself if you get injured, as this next boy will show you. If there's a bone to break, he'll break it. If there's a knee to graze, he'll graze it. If there's an ankle to sprain, he'll sprain it. He's the unluckiest kid. Your face has more blood vessels in it than anywhere else in your body. Yep, that's a lot of blood vessels. Up your nose, there are little blood vessels close to the surface. They're very delicate, so a nose-picking finger can break them, making your nose bleed. First, your body needs to plug the gap. Using platelets that are in your blood, they stick together like glue and stop the bleeding. A protein called fibrin arrives at the wound and creates a big structure that makes a big, hard scab. New skin cells work their way to the top. Then everything is cleaned by plasmin. This brilliant enzyme dissolves the scab and everything is left looking good as new. Not again! Oh, dear. Ouch. Your body is brilliant. It can even repair itself if you get injured, as this next boy will show you. If there's a bone to break, he'll break it. If there's a knee to graze, he'll graze it. If there's an 
Like a horse brain, he's brain is. He's the unluckiest kid. Oh, another accident. He really is unlucky. If you cut your skin, lots of tiny blood vessels tear and bleed. But straight to the rescue are an army of platelets. They stick together like glue. This is called clotting, and it makes a plug to stop the bleeding. Then, a protein called fibrin holds everything together with fibres, a bit like scaffolding. The clot dries out and goes hard, forming a scab to keep bacteria out like a bouncer. Sorry, mate, you're not on the list. Mm. New skin cells start to gather. Meanwhile, the heavyweights, infection-fighting white blood cells, constantly patrol the area fighting infection. Your new skin starts connecting to your nervous system and it gets all itchy because your skin knows there's something there you need to get rid of. But don't pick it. Wait for your scab to fall off. Oh, dear. Ouch. This next boy may be accident-prone, but his body is brilliant at mending itself. Just like yours. If there's a bone to break, he'll break it. If there's a knee to graze, he'll graze it. If there's an ankle to sprain, he'll sprain it. He's the unluckiest kid. Ligaments are attached to your bones and they're strong and stretchy. But if they're stretched too far, they can tear. This is called a sprain. Ligaments tell your blood vessels they need help urgently because blood contains healing white blood cells. So it sends blood gushing to the sprain. The area swells up, protecting your vulnerable joint from moving. It gets hot too, so bacteria don't want to live there. But if it swells for too long, then scar tissue can build up. The only way to stop that is to keep it cool. Back inside, white blood cells get rid of the damage and new ligament cells arrive. After a few weeks, the ligaments get stronger, so you're back on your feet. Watch out! Oh, unlucky. Ouch. When you get injured, your body is brilliant at mending itself. This next boy should know he's always having accidents. If there's a bone to break, he'll break it. If there's a bone to graze, he'll graze it. If there's an ankle to sprain, he'll sprain it. He's the unluckiest kid. Food that's gone off or hasn't been cooked correctly can contain harmful bacteria that attack your body. But your body fights back. Immune cells in your tummy try to kill the bad bacteria. Oh, watch out! Phew. Then friendly bacteria multiply and release toxins to stop them too. Then your body gets you to eject them. Sometimes your stomach muscles contract to push them upwards. Or sometimes it's downwards. Your intestines don't absorb water when you have food poisoning, so when diarrhoea kicks in, a lot of liquid is flushed out and you're left feeling dehydrated. So keep drinking water, but not water with bugs in it. Oh, no. Not again. Ouch. Your body is brilliant. It can even repair itself if you get injured, as this next boy will show you. If there's a bone to break, he'll break it. If there's a knee to graze, he'll graze it. If there's an ankle to sprain, he'll sprain it. He's the unluckiest kid. New shoes that rub can make your skin red and sore and can sometimes cause a blister. So what's going on? Your blood vessels deliver a fluid called plasma to the top layers of your skin. This makes the area swell and a blister springs up. It protects the seam from germs. New cells make their way to the top, replacing damaged ones. As new skin grows, the plasma fluid is reabsorbed back into the body and your blister deflates, drying up until it disappears. But to help prevent blisters, make sure there are no wrinkles in your socks and your shoes fit properly. Oh, oh dear! dear. Ouch. When you get injured, your body is brilliant at mending itself. This next boy should know he's always having accidents. If there's a bone to break, he'll break it. If there's a knee to graze, he'll graze it. If there's an ankle to sprain, he'll sprain it. He's the unluckiest kid. Your eyelashes and eyelids protect your eyeballs, but sometimes little things can blow into your eye and can scratch the surface. 
Immediately, the area around your eye gets to work. The tear ducts open up and tears rush in to flush out the debris. And your eye blinks furiously, spreading the liquid about. Then, your body injects something called lysozyme into your tears. This acts like a disinfectant to keep infection out. The offending article is usually pushed out. And then your eye gets on with mending the scratch left behind. Fresh cells fill up the injury, and in just 24 hours, your eyes left as good as new. Oh, oh dear. Ouch. If there's a bone to break, he'll break it. If there's a knee to graze, he'll graze it. If there's an ankle to sprain, he'll sprain it. He's the unluckiest kid. It was lunchtime at school, and Peter was tucking into... A cheese sandwich? No. Beans on toast? No, Zand. Fish and chips? I love fish and chips. No, Zand. It was chicken. Mmm, yum. That's a lot of chicken. Yes, but as Peter was eating, his ears started hurting. Oh, no! And then it started growing. Whoa! Like Jack's beanstalk. Zand, this is Peter's story, not Jack's. Anyway, it grew and grew. No, come on, Chris, stop it now. It wasn't that big. OK, OK, just kidding. But the pain did become so bad that Peter couldn't eat his lunch. Ouch! Ouch! If there's a bone to break, he'll break it. If there's a knee to graze, he'll graze it. If there's an ankle to sprain, he'll sprain it. He's the unluckiest kid. Well, there's two parts to this story, Zand. OK, what's the first? Tamsin was in her Thai boxing class, sparring with her partner, Riyad. Ooh, wouldn't want to mess with her. I know, Zand. They both went to do a Bandai move, a flying kick, but their knees clashed. Ouch! That's not all, Zand. There's more. What? A couple of days later, Tamsin was playing hockey in PE. Who's winning? Never mind that, Zand, because as Tamsin's opponent whacked the ball, his stick accidentally hit Tamsin's shin. On the same leg! Ooh, double ouch. Ouch! If there's a bone to break, he'll break it. If there's a knee to graze, he'll graze it. If there's an ankle to sprain, he'll sprain it. He's the unluckiest kid. It was a gorgeous sunny day, so Tiana and her mum were out for a bike ride. Well, sounds lovely. Tiana had the best view from the back seat, whilst mum was doing all the pedalling at the front. Even better! But it all went wrong as they got to a roundabout. Oh, no! Did she do the same as you the other week? Um, You know, when the pigeon pooped on your head and you got in such a flap you ended up face first in a fountain? No, Zond. And you promised never to tell anyone. Oops. Anyway, Tiana's foot fell down off the seat and it got caught in the spokes of the wheel. Ouch! Ouch! If there's a bone to break, he'll break it. If there's a knee to graze, he'll graze it. If there's an ankle to sprain, he'll sprain it. He's the unluckiest kid. It was lunchtime at Abdul's school. Mmm, lunchtime! Was it fish and chips? No idea. Abdul was actually playing five-a-side football with his mates. Yes, but does he want salt and vinegar? Zand, concentrate. Everyone knows there's no food allowed in the sports hall. Good point. Now, Abdul is the star striker. He had the goal in his sights. He reached for the ball. Nothing can stop this lad from scoring! Well, nothing except sliding headfirst into a door. Ouch! 